China Spring to me is a pretty incredible story this year. Um, of course, we know what they did last year, uh, winning state, first time since 1978. Uh, they did that under Brian Bell's leadership. Um, you know, the Bell family are kind of like, um, I don't know, the Kennedys in Massachusetts, you know, <laughs> in terms of China Spring royalty. Um, that team, incidentally, that China Spring team produced nine players that were either first team or second team Super Centex. And seven of those are now seniors. gone. Yeah, yeah. they're seniors. Uh, and one of the returning ones is China Spring's kicker, Thomas Barr. Um, so, and, and of course, one of those guys that graduated, Major Bowden, he was our Super Syntex Offensive Player of the Year. He was also the Texas Football Magazine, like, Player of the Year. Um had a had a, just a tremendous year. Um, so with all these guys gone and and their head coach moving on to Baylor, how have they been able to maintain this championship caliber team? What do you right, DJ take the first shot at this one? Well, they I don't think very much changed because I mean Tyler Beatty was an assistant, so the system I feel is pretty much the same, and all those guys that are now, you know, the ones making the plays. I feel like, you know, it's been years that they've been putting in that work. And so you've got, you know, Trey Haffer, Tristan Exline, Kyle Barton, um, and and just, you know, other, other like, what was it, two weeks ago when I went, and uh, Miles Reed was a second stringer, came in and just – was going on all these runs and, and just taking off. And, and that's it. He's a senior. He's been there a while. And um, so I feel like it, it's just the, the work that coach Bell had implemented before and that uh, coach BD is continuing, you know, to improve on it's, uh, you know, it's not really a surprise that they're still good because they've been putting in the work and then you, you get a kid like Hash McCollum, who's you know really talented and works real hard and, and kind of had experience before and who's from a football family I mean his dad is an assistant coach at China Spring right now his brother's at Texas A&M um so I don't know it's not really surprising that they're still going at it because yeah. they're doing what they were doing before Chad well as an old sports writer <laughs> you make certain observations along the way and then they continue to build that, like the evidence builds on that observation. I don't think it's confirmation bias. I think it's just like, you see it over and over again. And, and after a while, you just start to believe in a certain theory. Okay. And my theory in that regard is that when you lose a coach, whether he's hired away by another school or, well, I guess that's the only way you lose a coach, right? I mean, like when a coach is hired away by another school, because he's doing so well at your school, it is a whole lot easier to keep it going good there than the other way around when you fire a coach because it's not going good, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's, you know, very much the case at China Spring. It was going good. They were an attractive place to be. Like DJ said, they hired from within. That's another factor, you know? I mean, like, look back at, um, I think I start, really started to develop this theory when, Billy Clyde Gillespie was hired away from AM by Kentucky, right? Because he had, you know, I think he had turned around AM's basketball program. I think that's a fairly, you know, well established point, right? And yet the next guy won at Texas AM in basketball. And then the next guy won at Texas AM in basketball. And Texas AM was in a spot where it was, you know, traditional basketball power. And yet guys kept doing good, getting hired away. And the next guy came in and did good, you know? So um, maybe overrate coaching in that regard, you know, but. Uh, well, I think not to give you guys too much praise, but I think both your points are pretty valid. Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, I do think so. Let's let's just play a game of pretend here for a second. Make believe, uh, you know, Lorena, it, it was kind of the perfect Michael Jordan moment 
for Ray Biles to retire last year. Honestly, he had been mm-hmm. in the you know coaching forever and uh, wasn't that state win, Chad? It was his two hundredth uh, yep. victory. That win, winning the state right. championship game, he finally gets the state ring. It's his two hundredth uh, win. He could have just done Michael Jordan and said, "See ya." You know, that's the perfect exit. He came back, mm-hmm. but. Let's say he. Let's say Ray Biles had had left. It would have made a lot of sense for Lorena to hire Matt Hurst, who's got Moody off to a nice two and one start. He that would have been a hire from within, and I think Lorena would just be clicking along like they are now. So the point about maintaining some continuity there, especially when you're coming off a year where you won state, and there's a lot of upward mobility you know there's a lot of Mm -hmm. there's a lot of buzz and those kids want to keep it going um so yeah i think that's a big deal and then to dj's point about their depth you don't win state unless you've got some depth i mean and so um the fact that kyle barton was not a super syntax guy last year he was still pretty freaking good and it just speaks to our depth in central Texas at running back, but certainly he's looking like uh, a, you know, super syntax running back, you know, this year. And uh, you know, DJ, you mentioned Tristan X line from the X line brother clan there. I mean, he's just kind of the next one up and uh, you know, and then cash McCollum, man, uh, DJ will have a story on him this week, but um, yeah. He's cut from a football cloth, you know? I mean, so that's a kid that's grown up around the field house, and you can always tell that, you know? I think you see it uh, over in Robinson with their young quarterback who's just a freshman, Jackson uh, Ludlow, you know, Mike Ludlow's kid, you know? Those kids that, like, grow up, Brian Bell was that kind of kid. Sean Bell was that kind of kid. So those ones that grow up around football, they tend to – not get real rattled when they get their chance, you know, so cash McCollum's probably got a little of that. He's got uh, 11 touchdowns, thousand yards passing already through just, you know, the first few weeks. So well, what I saw him do the other night was uh, Connolly scores and, you know, kind of throws a punch and it's like, okay, you're going to throw a punch. I'm going to drop back and throw it over the top of you guys, mm. you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. That's a, that's a good win for China for sure. 